So I'm an outreach entomologist, so I've always been interested in aquatic environments. And so a lot of what I do is combine the educational sciences. So I do a lot of public outreach in the community. We have an insect zoo with live arthropods, and we go to really anyone that wants us to come with our animals. Students really had no idea that there were active watersheds running through the campus. As entomologists, a lot of insects depend on these waterways. Our research has shown that there's not a lot of arthropod activity other than insects like flies that can really handle, you know, high turbidity, high pH levels, and really polluted areas. They're making the connections that, you know, insects use these waterways, but also we have a lot of a big focus on pollinators and sustaining local native bees through things that we plant to tie into bees are using this waterway to sustain their lives. So kind of the trickle effect up and down, uh, you know, how important watersheds are and then their contribution to healthy or unhealthy watersheds and just, I would say, overall awareness. A lot of it is the, the shape of the streams. A lot of them are concrete and that makes it very difficult for certain types of insects to be in that environment. And so that's when you really find the, the limited midges and flies that can literally just live in pockets of, you know, leaves and they don't really need that other, you know, natural environment. I would say that's the, the biggest challenge facing especially the, the insects. And and then just the, the runoff from all the trash in the parking lots and things like that, just all those extra inputs really puts a strain on the um, arthropod communities. I think there was a big take home for my students was how much pet waste is a contribution to our watershed. Those little take home things that each individual can do to help the watersheds, either indirectly or directly, and, and when they're out tailgating or you know with their friends walking around campus, just having the realization that this is a, a living system that we're all a part of.